Jordan, thanks for joining us. And uh, for those who, who aren't aware, maybe you can tell us uh, a bit about why suicide prevention and, and what you've been talking about is so important to yourself. Yeah, you know, we all know suicide is an epidemic in our Indigenous communities uh, across Canada. And for, for me personally to experience uh, tragedy uh, within my family, uh, my brother Terrence taken his uh, his own life in 2002 was uh, was devastating to not only myself uh, but my immediate family and you know the indigenous communities across Manitoba, Canada, and and up in Nunavut. So it holds a very special place in my heart to um, to tell my story and to to reach out to our our remote communities and let them know that you know we're resilient we know how to battle through hard times mentally you're uh, you know speaking with youth and, and others coast to coast to coast with uh, what's really a, a deeply personal uh, tragedy for yourself uh, the things you've gone through has this been uh, difficult for you to do this actually it's been uh, a, a healing process you know it, it, it takes time um, but for me uh, to be able to be comfortable and content in my own skin took a long time to be open and honest and to communicate. I didn't know how to talk about my feelings. Uh, I didn't know how to express my feelings. But through my sobriety and, uh, and working every day, working hard, it's um, brought me peace and, and harmony. And you know, now I can say I'm very comfortable and content in my own skin. And that's why I'm able to, to share my story um, as natives we uh, we tend to hold a lot in and use substances to to help cope with uh, with issues and I've dealt with that and now it's just about me telling my story and having our people relate and say hey if if Jordan has dealt through it, been through it. You know, he's he's played in the NHL. He's been a professional athlete. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. We all fight a fight no one knows about. Be kind to one another. You talk about the healing process, uh, and you say being on the land was what was your healing process. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah. So I I grew up hunting and fishing. Um, I, I know that in my experience that you know as natives we can go and see all the doctors we want and, and psychologists and therapists but I didn't find that was enough for me and when I reconnected with the land and, and was out there and really just sat there in the moment and, uh, and absorbed life that was going on around me and and really looking back and saying how simple life is out there. You know, I lived a pretty fast paced life for the last 20 some odd years. And when I'm out on the land, it, it's, it's that peaceful, peacefulness, the harmony, the connection, um, honesty, and just, just being present. You're speaking here at uh, Vision Quest to uh, youth and a, a number of uh, Indigenous peoples about your journey. And one of the things that uh, stuck out for me was uh, you talking about you never won a Stanley Cup, but uh, how your kids are your Stanley Cup. What's family uh, meant to you through all of this? Well, we all know in our in our communities, families mean everything. Um, you know, for me to experience tragedy. And, and that cycle well on to its next victim. You know, for me, it was, it was time for change. Not only for myself, but for my family, my immediate family. You know, I, I sobered up to stop one cycle and start a new cycle. For, for my kids, um, for the youth out there, you know, obviously we're gonna we're gonna go through hard times throughout our life, and and you know, experience 
things that will teach us. You know, obviously you learn from your mistakes. I've failed more often than pe people have seen. Um, but at the same time, we're resilient. We know how to fight through hard times. But ultimately, family is everything. You know, your speeches really impacted people when there were people standing up in a room of hundreds uh, today to, to tell their own story of tragedy or inspiration even as well. Is that what you're, you're seeing out there on the road? Yeah, you know what, it's, it's, it's about starting a conversation. And for me to be able to, to share my story with, uh, with the Indigenous communities, it's real talk. You know, I, I live that life. I lived the life of being from a remote community, uh, isolated community, who, who's been through tragedy, triumph, substance abuse. And so for me to share, it really helps people in, in, in the audience to kind of take a few steps back and say, wow, you know, if Jordan can talk about it, maybe it's time for me to, to raise my voice and, and change, make some changes. There's a lot of up-and-coming uh, Indigenous athletes, both in the NHL, but even younger than that, people who still, uh, even though you're not playing today, uh, look up to you as a role model. What's your, your message to those youth? Well, it's, it's an honour and a privilege to uh, help pave the way for our indigenous athletes. Um, you, you look down the line, Jonathan Chichu, um, you know, the Nolan brothers, Ted Nolan, mm -hmm. Stan Jonathan, Gino Ojek, uh, Sandy McCarthy, you know, these guys are, have been the trailblazers in, in our indigenous communities. And for me to be a part of that is, a, is an honor. Um, you know, I get to tell my story to these kids and, and let them know that hey it doesn't matter where you're from what color your skin is we you know the game of hockey sports in general is uh is all about inclusivity and, and that's what it's all about well jordan you can tell that uh, you had a big impact on a lot of people in that room today and uh, appreciate what you've done for the sports and for our people and uh, for sitting down with us here today my pleasure thank you thanks thank you